We are live under the bridge at Service Electric Fest Plots, of course, broadcasting from Space Camp SEN, previewing everything coming up today, the final Friday of Music Fest 2024. Of course, that means we've only got three days left to fest, and we are going to make the best out of it. John Lunger, joined by the executive director of Community Relations. Did I get that right? Community engagement. Community Got engagement. <laughs> so close. Uh, for Lehigh Valley Health Network, Aaron Ludwig. Aaron, thank you so much for starting the day with us. Thank you for letting me be here. I am loving the theme here at Space Camp SEN. And um, of course, great to be back at Music Fest. Well, we are thrilled you can make it. Our crew is actually decked out in flight suits today uh, down here as we prepare to take off. That's a terrible, terrible dad joke, but we're, we're doing it. We're doing it and we are loving it. But LVHN, of course, a longtime partner of ArtsQuest and The Fest, uh, perhaps most visibly, uh, y'all are helping us out at the Health Plots tents. That is correct. So yeah, we have over 20 year history as the official medical provider and Health Plots uh, sponsor here at ArtsQuest or at Music Fest. So you can find us in Fest Plots, you can find us in Familian Plots, and then over on the south side at the Wind Creek Steel Stage. Yeah, so if you're festing and, and you have some minor cuts, some abrasions, if you need some water to cool down, uh, maybe you've brought the, the kids down and they just need a break, uh, an amazing resource uh, staffed by amazing volunteers uh, from the Health Network. And uh, it's just another example of how the community comes together to make Music Fest happen. Totally. I mean, our colleagues get so excited about this every year. We're staffing all 11 days of the festival, and you're exactly correct. You know, they see uh, dehydration. We will see um, like cuts, or you know, if there's fall, um, we have band aids. We also have hand sanitizer, which is important. And then if you're here on the north side, we also have private uh, kind of feeding or nursing area for our youngest uh, music fest uh, our festers, festers in training. In training. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, it, it, you can't start too early to get your first music fest in, and we certainly appreciate those services. Also, a tremendous resource if you had a bee sting or something like that. Uh, we want to make sure everybody comes down, but we want to make sure that they're safe and festing healthily. And I know uh, y'all have some tips, hydration being a number one, I think. Yes, we love it. Stay hydrated, please, when you're coming down to Music Fest. Also think about what's happening with the weather, sunscreen or hat or some kind of important sun protection. Uh, we want to talk about sensible footwear. So as you're going around the fest, even on a day like today where it might be a little slippery with the rain, um, think about that blister protection or prevention. And um, and as you're festing, as enjoying all the great foods around Music Fest, you know, make sure you wash your hands, visibly dirty, or use hand sanitizer. Make sure you have that on you throughout the festival. Yeah, not enough hand sanitizer in the world for me, for sure. <laughs> so it is something that I truly appreciate while I am down here, and all of you now know that's available to make sure you're having a healthy fest in addition uh, to a fun fest. Uh, but you know, Music Fest is one thing, but uh, the Health Network uh, is helping out year round. I think a great example of that is the amazing free concerts at Levitt Pavilion Steel Stacks. Uh, Y'all are the title partner of the free community concerts. Yes, we are. Yes, very proud of our overall partnership with ArtsQuest, kind of the hometown health partner here. So we uh, engage with the Levitt Pavilion throughout their series. And then you also see us in the off season in the winter with the ice rink. Yeah, of course, uh, the ice rink at Steel Stacks coming back, an amazing new holiday tradition. That would uh, feel and it's, good today. Yeah, that it would feel amazing great. today, actually. A little humid down here at the fest. Uh, but that's actually uh, yeah. sponsored by uh, the Lehigh Valley Riley Children's Hospital, which is an amazing uh, addition to the health network here. Tell us a little bit about the Children's Hospital. Oh, yes, region's uh, first largest children's hospital, trusted health partner to kids. And uh, we have some amazing activations throughout our region where we engage with our community. Um, yeah, we're very proud of that resource for our families. Yeah, a very, very wonderful thing here uh, for all of the families in the Lehigh Valley. Aaron, this is not your first Music Fest. Not by a long shot. As an individual, <laughs> not by a long shot. So I'm dying to know, what are those must-see, must-eat things that you do when you're down here festing uh, each and every year? Yeah, that's a good question. I love it all. Um, I really like being down in handwork plots. I like to visit all of the crafters and vendors and have some favorites that, you know, we try to get to every year. From a food perspective, I'm pretty loyal to Island Noodles. Just, it's a classic for a reason. You know, important part of your Music Fest experience. But I think what is nice about the festival is just the variety and yeah. the fact that you can run into a new type of music or a band you never heard and just fall in love. So that's what I really enjoy about the festival. Yeah, I could not agree more with you. I love the element of discovery. Uh, and of course, we've still got three days to discover things uh, at Music Fest 2024, whether they be uh, the amazing musical performances, uh, the community groups, the non 
nonprofits that are helping out, uh, of course, the food, uh, but there's always something to do down at Music Fest. And Aaron, we can't thank you enough for the support of Lehigh Valley Health Network, uh, and of course, for you coming down here and festing with us. It's our pleasure. Well, we have to take a short break, but don't go anywhere. We've got more of the live preview show here before Music Fest kicks off officially at noon today here on the final Friday of Music Fest 2024. Don't go anywhere. Back in just a moment here on SEF. at Music Fest. Of course, the final weekend kicks off at noon. We only have three days to fest, so we're going to make the most out of it. John Lunger broadcasting live at Space Camp SEN under the bridge at Service Electric Fest Spots. And I'm joined by one of my colleagues at ArtsQuest, Melissa Gariello. Mel Marissa, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. You are part of the Performing Arts team. I am. Which means you are making sure all of the various musical performances happen, uh, some 400 plus artists over the 11 days. How do you keep it straight? <laughs> well, I mean, first and foremost, we have an amazing team. Shout out to them. Um, they do the majority of the booking and the logistics, getting parking passes and load-ins and all of that situated. So um, certainly not a one-person job. Couldn't do it without them. Um, but otherwise, I, you know, we've had a team who's been doing this for over 40 years, and they've got a process in place. Takes about a year to book the festival, so we'll start wow. again soon. Um, but, yeah, just a lot of really great organization. Yeah, we had Patrick Brogan on earlier in the week. Submissions yep. for Music Fest 2025 opening up shortly after the festival. I think September at the latest, probably. Yeah. Uh, which is wild to think about. Uh, and, in fact, you're already in conversations for artists for next year uh, before this fest has even closed. And that's, True. that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Well, got to reserve some of those big artists as soon as we can, which, you yeah. know, we're excited Speaking for next year. Speaking of the big artists, we've got Big Time Rush on the stage tonight at the Wind Creek Steel Stage at PNC Plaza. Uh, we got Ludacris, we got ZZ Top finishing out the weekend strong. As of this moment, there are a few tickets available for each of those shows, but there are not many. Uh, so if you want to check out any of those bands, go to musicfest.org today, get those tickets, do not wait. Uh, but you have a very unique... Uh, perspective of the festival. A lot of your time is spent making sure those main stage shows go smoothly, interfacing with those artists. What's it like backstage for those that aren't, have never seen anything like that before? Sure. It's a whole different world. It's, it's really fascinating. And as someone who didn't necessarily uh, plan to be in this role, it was a really big learning curve. It was just as eye-opening to me when I first started uh, with ArtsQuest here. Um, backstage is really just a lot of logistics. So we've got uh, myself, I'm the promoter are on the show, so I'm handling um, money and credentials, working with security, things like that. Uh, we have our fantastic hospitality manager, Allie, who does all of the rider items and sets the dressing rooms, make sure everything's clean and ready to go for them. Then we also have Mike Lero, who's our production manager, or production director, rather, and um, he's working with the local house crew as well as the tour cr production crew to make sure that sound, lights, all of that is, is set and ready to go. They're doing sound checks. Um, but really, it's just managing all of the logistics of the backstage, meet and greets, foods, comp ticket, like just uh, anything yeah. you can really think of that might come with a tour, parking. Um, it's just kind of what we run around and do all day. Yeah, and every day uniquely different. Yes, it's Music Fest. Yes, it's the Wind Creek Seal stage. But every tour has its nuances from when they're actually arriving uh, from yeah. their last gig to uh, what they need in short uh, uh, to have a great show that night. So it is really, truly a team effort back there. Uh, and we thank all of you. I know thank many you. of we don't ever see many of you, right? Like <laughs> you're true. back there making sure uh, everything goes seamless and we appreciate those efforts for sure. Thank you. Um, but you also have uh, uh, some amazing free stage performances. Uh, and I know there's one that we want to give a special shout out to. One of those hidden gems of the festival, of course, the Vesper series that yeah. takes place in Central Moravian Church. It's uh, it's so very different than like the vibe of Service Electric Fest plots. Yeah, exactly. So tonight we have Duetto Pandora in uh, 
uh, Central Moravian Church for uh, closing up our Vesper series, actually. They are a violin viola duo from Columbia. Wow. By way of Indiana University's Jacob School of Music. Okay. So to be clear, Columbia, the country Columbia. Yes. Wow. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> and um, they are doing a whole program of classical string music, but with a Colombian twist to it. So it should be a really great, fun performance tonight. And um, I would recommend everyone go check that out. Uh, just a great example of what I love about the fest. We've got Colombian classical music in Central Moravian Church. We've got yep. uh, a, a boy band from Nickelodeon on the main stage. Yes. Uh, we've got all of the amazing things happening at Plaza Tropical and across the festival. Um, it's so special not being a genre specific music festival and I think that's one of the things that makes this event so truly unique and why we can't find anything quite like it anywhere. Yeah, absolutely. Our team works really hard all year long to, to find a variety of styles and genres so that you, people can just go from plots to plots and experience a whole range of people and identities and all, and all of that. So we were really excited for this year. Yeah, yeah I love that. Uh, we're almost out of time, but I do want to ask, uh, opening weekend, we had a first time event at the fest this year and you were spearheading the cause for yeah. the, the music education uh, industry conference that was part of the festival this year. How did it go? Tell us what that was all about. Sure. Um, it went great for the first year. We had about 130 people registered. Um, uh, the conference, the, the purpose of the conference was really to um, help performers, educators, uh, people in the industry learn more about the intersection of all of, of these different areas of music um, so that we can work to get our students who are maybe still in uh, high school interested in these other facets of, of the music industry or music business instead of just, um, you know, pr projecting this idea that they could be a teacher or a performer. There's so many other roles as exemplified here at Music Fest. I mean, fun fact, I actually, uh, my personal stories, I went to school for music. Yeah. Uh, uh, and I realized very quickly I did not want to perform or teach. And I was like, what else exactly. can I do? And long story short, I ended up here. Um, but there are so many different ways to be active in the arts and arts administration. And yep. I love that. And uh, thank you so much for putting it together. And, and we hope thank many you. more years of that conference Me to come well. and we can <laughs> continue working to inspire the next generation of arts administrators. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Marissa, thank you for coming down. I know we have to let you get back over to Steel Stacks uh, to prepare for the show tonight. Uh, but any final thoughts about Music Fest 2024 for the people watching at home? No, come on out. It's supposed to be a lovely weekend. We'd love to see you all down here. Um, two amazing main stage shows. Get your tickets and uh, just live it up for the last two days. I love that. <laughs> and I love all of you for watching our preview show here. We still have a little bit more to come, an exclusive live performance before the fest even starts. So do not go anywhere. When we come back, we have an amazing performance from Jenny Founds back here under the bridge at Service Electric Fest Plots in just a few moments here on SEN. of the Community Art Project. Those are Martin guitar faces that were not good for production that the community is decorating. And of course, we are hanging up here at Music Fest 2024. John Lunger joined by the incomparable Jenny Founds. Hi. Jenny, thank you so much for starting your day with us. Thank you for having me. You are of a very familiar face here at the Fest. Mm -hmm. Some people might know you from Start Making Sense. Mm -hmm. Others might know you from Ruby Deer. Mm -hmm. Others might even know you from your solo performances. Uh, and so, first and foremost, which one do you like the most? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, right? What a fair question yeah, to ask, so not right? Fair. Yeah. <laughs> I feel every every iteration that I'm able to participate in, whether it's solo performance, Start Making Sense, Ruby Deer, um, it all brings me joy in, in different facets and ways. Yeah, so. that, I mean, that was an amazing answer to an unfair question, for sure. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, but you actually have a, a, a wonderful experience happening this moment mm -hmm. right after we wrap here. Yes. Over at Plaza Tropical, yeah. uh, some of your students from the School of Rock are going to be uh, performing. Yes, School uh, of Rock, uh, Plaza Tropical, from noon to 3. It's our Bank Street Band, so that's our audition program within the School of Rock. So it's their 
best and brightest of the group, and uh, they're going to crush it. I'm so excited. That's very cool. For those that don't know, walk us through what that School of Rock program is that you know you may have uh, budding musicians at home. It's a great thing to get involved with. Yeah. Um, School of Rock in Easton is a performance-based music program where students take lessons on their individual instruments, but then we put them in the performance uh, setting. So every four months, they'll perform real rock concerts in front of a crowd at a venue in Easton, and it's a fantastic opportunity. Yeah, that is very, very cool, and so cool uh, that it's happening at Music Fest, too. Yeah. One of those great kind of stories that happens within the festival that, yeah. like, you know, if you don't look, you might miss it. An amazing experience for them, and of course, you can see that uh, on SEN, too, because mm -hmm. it's at Plaza Tropical, and we'll yes. be broadcasting live all day from there. So another part of that story, which is awesome. Uh, but let's bring it back to you, mm -hmm. uh, because I know you have a performance tonight at Yingling Lager Plots, right? Yes. 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock to 4.30 at Lager Plots. Very, very cool. You're going to want to make sure you get in that official Music Fest app powered by PNC. Search for Jenny. Add her to your schedule. Make her one of your favorites. Uh, you got to <laughs> do it. Uh, it's the easiest thing. You don't want to miss her performance. And uh, you want to show her some love uh, in those fun stats within yes. the app of how many people like it and all of that. Uh, what can we expect from that set at Lager Plots tonight? Um, tonight, I'm going to be doing original songs that I performed last night with my band, Ruby Deer at uh, Zins and Plots, nice. but acoustic style, so oh, I a little strip back. Yeah. yeah, a little kind of shake up. I love I love an intimate acoustic performance and Lager Plots is great for that. I always think it's just a, such a great way to connect performer with the audience. Right. Uh, and, you know, it's so close to Lager Plots being so intimate. Like, we'll be sitting like this far from right, you. Right, exactly. Which is a wonderful, wonderful thing. It's a very fun opportunity, for sure. Yeah, so we're going to have you play a song for us here in a minute. Uh, before we started, you were like not sure what it's going to be. Do you, you think you know what you're going to do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, walk us through what song you're going to be doing for so us. So this song that I'm about to play is called Jump the Gun. Um, okay. It's off of Ruby Deer's second album, which you can stream on Spotify and Apple Music. Um, okay. And the song is about trying to figure out whether you're making a decision too soon or, you know, just those moments in life where you're reevaluating your, the path you're on. Oh, so. Like, so every day yeah, for me. basically. For yeah. sure, right? That's called breakfast. Yep. Uh, that's called before bed. <laughs> um, I love that. I love that. Um, Ruby Deer, an amazing band, too. Uh, Start Making Sense, certainly a must-see uh, tribute to the Talking Heads. Ruby Deer, uh, how, how long has Ruby Deer been together now? Uh, since 2018, actually. Oh, my, you just made me feel very old. <laughs> me uh, too. Yeah, oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry. I did not mean to do that to <laughs> that's you. That's all right. Uh, this morning. But that's awesome. I know. I think the first time I actually saw you all perform was actually at Main Street yeah. at Music Fest. That was our first year. Was it really? It was, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Um, just a great, a great rock band. I mean, that's like, I don't want to oversimplify it, right. but like, it's just so great to see the musicianship and like the creativity of just original music and uh, I don't know. And it's a, it's a fun opportunity to play originals and switch the instruments that we play in Start Making Sense. Oh, so cool. I play bass. Jesse plays drums and John is our David Byrne yeah. in the Talking Heads tribute. But then Ruby Deer, we all switch. So I play guitar, Jesse plays bass, and John plays drums. I so, love that. Yeah. That is super fun. I can barely dress myself. <laughs> Uh, it's a problem. You did great today. Thank you. You're very uh, on brand. It's very easy during Music Fest. I don't even have to lay the clothes out. It's just the same t-shirt every yeah. day, so that's good. Well, what do you say? You want to take it away? Sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Jenny Founds. to me line the drawers poems of the past you feel the same you never change found love that can relax oh There's no reason for my lost mind. I'm so 
searching every day Friends lift glasses and smile with their eyes They think I've gone astray Oh, oh no Oh, no I'm shifting in my sleep Finding weak knees where they shouldn't be jumped the gun and I 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 jumped the gun Ladies and gentlemen, Jenny Founds. Jenny, real quick, how can people find out about your upcoming shows? You can find me personally on Instagram at Jenny Founds. Like you lost it and you found it. Uh, Ruby Deer Music on Instagram, and that's also our website. That's fantastic. And make sure you check her out tonight, 4 o'clock, Yingling Lager Plots. We're out of time on the preview show. Music Fest kicking off officially here in just a few moments. Do not go anywhere. And, of course, stay tuned all day to the exclusive Music Fest coverage here on SEN. Three days left to Fest, everybody. We'll see you down here. Oh